Hi pen friends, this is Sarah, and today we're going to be doing a video out in my backyard. My friend Waski Squirrel, whose channel you've probably seen, said that he would love to have a wisteria in his yard, but in North Dakota they're difficult to grow. Luckily here in Massachusetts we can grow them, and I have this beautiful one that's blooming profusely right now has a wonderful scent and it makes a beautiful arch over my back door. Another pen friend, Tattooed Cat, sent me a wonderful photo of her bachelor's button growing in her yard and pen friend Sherry Zach has mentioned that she is getting into drawing. The channel Pen Friends shows some beautiful drawing from nature and all of these things put together have inspired me to come outside and do some drawing. I won't be drawing directly from nature today, but the sunshine will help to show off the picture. I'm going to be getting my inspiration from some photos that are on the website In Defense of Plants. I highly suggest checking out this website. The person who makes the website, Matt, also has a YouTube channel that I recommend if you're into plants. So after I do the drawing with black ink, I'm going to have my daughter Eve color it in with some inks that we received from our friend Pickwick Turtle. She sent us eight different inks and Eve always likes to do what she calls limited color challenges. So that's where you pick out a certain number of colors randomly and try to do your best work with them. So today we're going to be doing an eight color challenge because that's the number of inks that Pickwick Turtle has sent us. Please also check out Pickwick Turtle's channel. So thanks to all of my pen friends for inspiring this video. So the first thing that I'm drawing is a larkspur, also known as delphinium. I used to have one of these in my garden and it was really beautiful, um, sort of a light blue and purple flower, but I wasn't able to keep it alive and I haven't planted another one since that one died. So all of these flowers I'm drawing from photographs and all the flowers were in separate photos, but I'm just combining them to look kind of like they're growing near each other, but also in a nice composition that resembles a bouquet. So in the details on the peony bud, you'll notice that I'm adding ants. And if you have a peony in your yard or you have observed peony buds before, you will have noticed that they often have ants on them. This is because um, peonies secrete a sweet nectar from the bud to attract ants, which eat this nectar and help the bud to open. It's a good symbiotic relationship. Peonies are one of my favorite flowers. And now I'm adding a um, small leaf of a delphinium growing up out of some dried leaves and some maple seeds. And there you have it, there's my composition. I'm pretty happy with it. Okay, so my daughter Eve is here now. Are you yeah. ready for, it's actually a nine color challenge. Are you ready? Oh. The first ink is Monteverde Mango Mousse. Wow, this is a beautiful drawing by the way. Thank you. So, oh no, what's happening? Well, the, the mm. ink is supposed to be waterproof. The black ink is supposed to be waterproof. But it's looking like it's not, really. So maybe if you could try to not go over the black lines as much, then it wouldn't get smeared so much. Alright, our next ink is called Monteverde Blueberry Muffin. Ooh, yum! <laughs> The next ink is Monteverde Pumpkin Cake. So we're going to go back to the mango mousse and darken up some of the petals. Ooh, yeah, that looks that looks way better. Well, I'd like some, like, a green. So now we have Ackerman 27 Bezuidin. Okay, so Eve asked me to do some of the painting because she was getting tired. So I'm going to finish up the rest of this painting. So right now I'm using Monteverde Purple Mist. It's a really pretty color. So 
So I'm going to go back to Monteverde Blueberry Muffin and add a little bit into these flowers. Alright, now we've got Monteverde Cherry Danish. This is still Cherry Danish, it's just a little bit diluted. Sometimes I add a little bit of water to the colors to get a lighter color. Now we've got Monteverde Iced Cookie. Now I'm going to be using Monteverde Brown Sugar. Okay, so the last ink that I'm going to use is Monteverde Chocolate Pudding. And I'm sorry about the parts of the video that were lost. The iPad that I am filming on keeps on overheating and stopping without me knowing that it stopped. But I hope that you enjoyed this video anyways. And I hope that you join us in our next video. Bye, pen friends.